Hi everyone! My students always ask me, Toby, what's your best advice for learning a language? My very, 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 very best tip now! Here is my ultimate tip for learning a language like a pro. One, two, three. Grammar, vocab, useful phrases. A lot of people learning a new foreign language focus so much on the new grammar, especially in the beginning. But grammar is only one piece of the puzzle when trying to master a new language. Well, I tell you, you always need all three components. You need your grammar, you need your vocab, and you need your useful phrases. And I know you guys don't want to hear this, but the vocab is as important as the grammar is. In my classes, vocab most of the time is even priority. Sometimes that is difficult to accept because solving some grammar exercise in your exercise book is most of the time much easier than looking up all those new words in the dictionary and reading long, 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 long texts and trying to remember all those new words. That's a lot of hard work, I know. And I always tell my students, learning a language is a business. But without all those new words, all your grammar is basically worth nothing. I give you an example. For example, in German, if you use your adjectives wrong or your adjective ending is incorrect, I will still understand you. I will still understand what you mean. But if you don't have enough adjectives to explain, that is a problem. And finally, the useful phrases will help you to organize your thoughts and to structure your sentences and texts. They will help you to tell your opinion, to make assumptions or to compare things. They're brilliant. So here is my ultimate advice. Always combine all three of them. Your new grammar, your new vocab, and your useful phrases. You take one new grammatical feature, prepare it and put it down on a piece of paper. For example, a new subordinate clause. You prepare new words, for example, from your textbook or from your class and put some of them down on a piece of paper, but not too many of them. You write three, four or maybe five useful phrases on a piece of paper, for example, telling your opinion or making assumptions or comparison. And finally, take those three sheets with you, go out and have a coffee with your friends. Yes, have a coffee with your friends or meet at the library or at university or in some cafe nearby. But most importantly, get away from your desk. Tell your friends about what you've just read or learned and every now and then take a little sneak peek on one of your three sheets and try to use either the new grammar or the new vocab or some useful phrase. The pros will try to use two or three of them and try to combine all three of them. And I'll tell you, this will work out very well. My final tip. Try to finish every single sentence. Try to build beautiful, new, exciting sentences, no matter how long it takes. That's it for now. See you next time. If you have any brilliant advice for learning a new foreign language, put them down in the comments. In the meantime, like, link and love and check out my Instagram and Facebook profile. Link is in the description. See you next time. Bye bye.